Hi, I'm Sean from GoPower and today we're going to do some tech tips on the IC3000 inverter charger and the IC2000 inverter charger. Here we are with the IC remote and we're going to show you exactly how to dial in the power sharing setup. Uh, so we'll turn the unit on, you'll get your GoPower initializing startup, and then we're going to adjust all uh, of our power sharing just with the shore power uh, setting here. So we're going to hit enter. Now we're in shore power setup. Right now it's set to 30 amps. So this is what the inverter will allow to pass through it uh, from your shore power from generator. Uh, if I turn this down, so let's say I turn this down to, to 15 amps, this here means that the inverter is going to allow 15 amps to come from, let's say, your generator. Let's say it's a 1500 watt generator. Anything above this setting, the inverter is going to kick on and start helping out the generator or the shore power. So this would work the same. If we plugged in at home and we were on a 15 amp breaker, if we've set this to 15 amps and we threw on the air conditioner, for instance, instead of tripping the breaker at home, it's going to now have the inverter come on and help out and give us the extra 20 amps that we're going to need to start the air conditioner and run the AC. Uh, if we set this up higher, uh, so for instance if I have a 20 amp generator, I'm usually going to set my shore power to about 20 amps. That means that if I have any load that comes on that's going to be more than that 2000 watt generator can handle, the IC is going to come on pull power from the batteries and help me out and get more, give me more power for whatever I need to use. And that's how you set up the PowerShare feature using the shore power setting on the IC remote.